Yo, what is going on guys? It is Brian here today. I'm be showing you guys the best recording and streaming settings for OBS multi-platform. Now I want to give you guys a reason why I don't use OBS. Um, the reason why I don't use the original OBS that was created is because it doesn't give the ability to give you the highest quality possible for both recording and streaming at the same time. Well, multi-platform does. Multi-platform differs from OBS so much and it's so much greater. I do recommend you do download multi-platform. First thing you want to do when you have it open is go to your settings tab and then go to the output mode. From here, by default, it should be on the output mode simple. I'm going to make another video on this describing what this is, but for right now, just go to advanced. Now from advanced, you should be getting three different columns, streaming, recording, and audio, and this is what differs from OBS. OBS only gives you one column for streaming, recording, and audio. It all gives you in all one thing, so you cannot change streaming quality from recording quality. It all has to be the same no matter what. But multi-platform, you can change everything. For streaming, you guys, just copy the settings. Um, everyone's internet should be roughly about 2,500 bit rate, so that should be basic. If you think your internet's slower or faster, basically just go to an internet speed test online, check out the upload speed, and move the decimal over two spots to the right, and that should be your bit rate. Everyone should have a rough bit rate of about 1800 to 2500. Everything below the bit rate should be basic default stuff. You don't need to change any of that. You can change the, um, the CPU usage. <clears throat> If your CPU isn't as good and you're having a lot of CPU problems, you can go to ultra fast, but very fast is pretty basic for most CPUs. Um, now, right here is rescale output. Your should be default your monitor scale, um, but change this to 1280 by 720. I recommend that for most to all people unless you're partnered by Twitch. If you're not partnered by Twitch, your stream source scale cannot be changed. So. A lot of audiences aren't able to watch Twitch videos at full max resolution, 1080p, 60fps. So keeping it 720p, 60fps brings in a lot more audiences and they're not going to be leaving. Because at 1080p, they're going to be lagging, FPS drops, um, Twitch is here and there. It's just not going to be a smooth stream for them and they're not going to like it. So they're going to leave to someone where they're able to downscale the resolution. So just downscale it for them so that you're not losing a viewer. A lot of people can handle uh, 720p 60fps quality because it's pretty normal and a lot of people don't really need that 1080p quality so you keeping it 720p makes you not lose viewers okay that's what I mean that's what I'm trying to say so just keep it at 720p if you're not partnered by Twitch but if you are partnered by Twitch simply keep it at 1080p um, so that your audience can actually change the source quality now when you're done streaming you want to go to the recordings tab and this is where everything gets amazing for type keep it standard uh, that should be by default for uh, rendering path I keep it in a folded called recordings um, generate uh, file names without space that's up to you personally if you guys like, like, don't want spaces in your name if you guys do want spaces in the name that's up to you that's affiliated with the recording path and the name of the file recording format by default should be like HLV uh, change that to mp4 you can also change that to MOV but the reason you want to use HLV is because it's not um, like it's not like an international worldwide thing and it doesn't work with everything while mp4 works with everything for audio tracks this is dependent on how many audios you have on your stream sources um, for me i have a mic and i have a desktop audio so i have two tracks track wise this means in your editing software you're gonna have two audio tracks which i will show you guys later in the video for encoder keep this at h.264 encoder the nvidia one if you're having a video graphics card because this is going to give you a little bit better of a quality with smaller file sizes for rescale output since most of my recordings are going to be going on youtube and show show yours because that's why you're recording them keep them at 1920 by 1080 because a lot of audiences on youtube are able to watch 1080 P videos because it's not internet heavy what twitch is um, this should be by default nothing uh, profile main you, should, you can change this to higher baseline depending on your computer and what it is and stuff but main is default by everyone uh, key for intervals I don't know if that's by default on two um, I'm pretty sure I changed that to two I think it should be on zero but I'd rather keep it on two because I don't like really like auto stuff for uh, rate control, keep it on CBR because it's going to stay constant. It won't, will not change. Um, and this is where the quality portion for recording comes into play. 50,000 bit rate. Now, if you go back to the streaming portion, you're going to see 2,500 and then 50,000. 
the good thing about multi-platform is it's two different sources okay streaming is strictly streaming and recording is strictly recording so you're able to have completely two different uh, settings without affecting really anything um, a 50,000 bit rate it's gonna give you the smoothest game without any motion sickness while on streaming if you have a 2500 it's gonna have a little bit of motion sickness and not too much to be actually be noticed but when you're recording and you're uploading to YouTube, just get that best quality. It's 50,000. This is what Dextory uses um, and NVIDIA Shadow Play. This is what they use. It's 50,000. Um, don't use a custom buffer size and advanced. I don't know if low latency should be checked. If it isn't, check it on. Um, I've been testing it. I don't really see any differences at all, but I think it does something. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it does, but it hasn't affected anything at all in game. So I just keep it. Um, I don't know, just keep it on. And then you want to change over to your audio tab, and this is dependent on your tracks. I have my tracks set to 256. I don't have track 3 or 4 set to that because I don't have 3 or 4 tracks. I only have 2 tracks, and 256 is a pretty high audio bit rate, so that's what I keep it at for the best sound. Once you're done with all three of these tabs, just hit apply and then go down to the video settings. For um, the first column, keep that as default. Um, the second column default nothing unless you have a video adapter but not many people do for base canvas this is like the preview scale around uh, multi-platform keep that at 1080p and this scale keep that at 1080p so that it's the same as your recordings and your recordings doesn't mess up for downscale filter you can change this to uh, this one uh, but you shouldn't have to billionaire is default for a lot of people and then your FPS keep that at 60 so that you're getting the best quality video and stream and stuff um, if your computer is not too good you can go to 30 but I do recommend you just stay at 60 because 60 your most computers should be able to handle at least 60 and that there guys is how to get the very 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 best streaming and recording settings for OBS multi-platform I do hope you guys enjoyed and I do hope this helped you guys and if you guys have any questions comments or concerns just comment down below or tweet at me on Twitter or add me on Skype and we can go one-on-one -on -one talking to each other very fast. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like and comment and peace out. What the fuck? I spawned on top of this. This is like a Minecraft spawn. <laughs> yeah, but you guys are watching the raw form. Oh! Oh, fuck you, kid. the raw quality form of uh, using OBS multi-platform with the settings I just gave you guys. I hope they're pretty good. Um, you get some fantastic quality. Hope you guys do realize that. And uh, yeah, guys.